I'm doing my best not to step on any because you don't know. Oh, what the frick is that? Welcome to Tommy Bikes Homestead, Tommy Bikes TV. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're undecided on whether you want to hit that red button, it's free. Go ahead and hit that red button, click the like button, share me out, and leave me a comment below. So let me show you what I got here. To water my garden. I didn't do it yesterday because. I knew it was gonna rain, but I didn't know when, and it didn't rain until late. So, I, this first raised bed right here, as you can see, I have corn, I have a lot of sunflower seeds planted within it. Um, I also have cabbage in here, um, and some okra also planted in here. So, I went to water. Tell me if you see what I see. Do you see what I see? If you do, leave a comment down below. Do you see what I see when I say, see what I say? Okay. Look here, y'all. Look what I got. Look what I have growing on my corn stalk. I'm so excited. Now, I see some little, like some little ants or something crawling on it, but it's going to be okay. Y'all, this is my first time growing corn. Y'all, it took me forever to do it because trying to figure out how to feed your soil, all of that is a learning process for me because this is my first time growing. And then I, I look past the corn stalk, which is right here, if you, if you missed it, right there. Let's see, I need to get a thumbnail. Oh my God. Okay, so I just got through canning some jellies and I said well let me come out here and let me water my yard and so I see here look at that and my sunflower seeds oh, I'm getting a bloom oh my god do you see it let me zoom in see that hint of yellow y'all don't know and then I got another corn stalk here and another one here does this one have anything coming on it yet not yet we're gonna give her a little shake uh, sunflower seeds are really coming up like they were so small if you if you saw my video the other day not so small but this summer rain I gotta watch out for the squirrels because you know I, I have squirrels in here and some have been messing with some things they shouldn't have been messing with and my collard greens are over here right there I haven't looked at this one yet this is raised bed number two. And I do have some corn in here that's trying to do something. Um, it's getting there. It's getting there, y'all. I might I might have some corn pretty soon. I can pull off there and, and put it straight in the pot. And let me tell you, when I do, I'm doing a seafood boil. I am with my homegrown corn. I am so excited about this. Look how much that has grown over here. If you recall, I said I put my pumpkins that I planted for my children over here. I put them right here. I also put some right here. And look how it's grown. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Let me tell you, it's nothing like that good God rain. It's really nothing like it. A bloom on that one 
and these have grown. How I know is because they weren't as tall as this green thing here that I have around it. What I did the other day was I took the charcoal that had burnt out in my grill and I put the ashes within my, my beds and inside of the planters. And so I'm hoping that that had something to do with it because I was having slow growth with my peppers. I wanna show you the cucumbers because they're continuously growing as well. These are my sweet potatoes. And they're actually long. I just don't have anything to let them run free, you know. Over here in this corner is my cucumbers. And they were, as, you see how this grass is right here? They were that small. And now look at them. So let's go look at the watermelon. Now we have, look how tall. These, uh, I think, are bell peppers, if I'm not mistaken. Look how tall they've gotten. And they have more blooms on them. I don't know if you can pick it up because the sun is kind of beaming in. But they have more blooms on them. So I expect peppers pretty soon. The stalk has even gotten much sturdier. Much sturdier. Here, I have peppers. Behind this bush, I planted cantaloupe and watermelon. Let's see what we got. We got a watermelon right there. Sugar babies is what I planted. I don't see any cantaloupe as of yet, but the vines are growing really great. And I hear it, but I don't see, oh, there it is. I'm like, I hear it hitting the ground. We have a watermelon growing right here. So that's two. Uh, I don't see anything back there. This plant just does not want to stay up. It grew so big. Um, I'm gonna go on the other side. Now I'm on the other side of the watermelon patch. Well, this is my watermelon alley because it's in such a small area. I see a nice pretty bloom right there. So I have one right here also. Then I have another right here. I kind of try to hide it from the animals <laughs> like that. So it's one there, one there. And I have nothing on that one yet. But I do have one on this one right here. So, yeah, we, ha we had them like that. Um, probably got one back there. I'm doing my best not to step on any, cause you don't know. Oh, what the frick is that? Oh my God, is that a baby rabbit? Oh my God. Look, y'all, I found a baby rabbit. Ain't that something? Let me show my son. Hopefully, he'll be here when I get back. So this is what I found. I'm signing out. I thank you for joining me here on Tommy Bites uh, Homestead, Tommy Bites TV. And remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread God's love with distance. Peace, love, and light. Thank you so much for joining Tommy Bites Homestead, Tommy Bites TV.